good evening sir welcome to the new indian express videos thank you namaskar uh, first of all congratulations for winning a uh, grammy for 2024 thank you sir um it is a significant achievement uh, what was your initial reaction uh, how did you respond well the reaction was uh, i was a little bit lost you know when the name was announced we were i was thinking that okay we might get it because uh, having a very big names in the album uh Ustaz Zakir Hussain Bella Fleck who is already like uh, 16 17 Grammy award winner Edgar Meyer but uh, being present there in live the category which were competing a album which was amazing a great so I was little spectacle or little fear that with what will happen now but when the name was called off uh the first reaction was wow and uh, believe me uh, the first thought what came in my mind that uh, i'm taking something for my country through my music you know and then especially indian bamboo flute yeah right so so this actually puts uh, indian classical music on global map specifically for the upcoming generation definitely yeah um so could you elaborate a little on how do you view this particular achievement in the sense that it connects indian classical music and you have also uh, collaborated with other uh, mm -hmm. artists who have uh, you know taken yeah. influences from western music so how do you see that well it was quite difficult in the beginning to understand the different genre of music and yeah. and then what i can do with my instrument flute which is uh, you know it's uh, technically it's just one and half octave instrument and the other instrument which covers four octaves four and half octaves so the notes which is uh, so we have to figure out how to do it keep changing fluid mm -hmm. in between the pieces mm -hmm. that was a little task and uh, it's it is still but uh, i think one thing uh, the western is like it the sound of the instrument mm. i think it gels with anybody any kind of music mm. whether it's uh, a, a jazz form or rock form or or a divine kind of music it goes very well i think and also, also is next to the voice mm. so uh, these are all technical thing but uh, for the young people that who never thought about playing classical or playing live music in flute also can reach mm. to grammys you know so it's a very big an encouragement you know for them oh anybody can get it if we work hard and, and if we go in the right direction right so would you talk a little about the album uh, that mm -hmm. won this award uh, uh this album is called as we speak and uh, Two years back, we started touring, and uh, we were touring uh, mostly United States, and uh, also we did a small tour in India and Bangladesh and Dubai. I think three, four years back. Hmm. I'm talking all of this before lockdown, and then uh, suddenly we decided to, you know, record this uh, all the pieces because now we were very confident in what we're doing and what to do. and what not to do so we recorded in uh, us only in nashville and uh, the best part about this album is nothing been read up or any correction mm. it is all live so we just recorded like 3 4 3 times one each song and we kept whichever was sounding best mm. so that way it, it took us i think 2 to 3 days 2 and a half days mm. to record i think 12 songs uh but again uh, in 2024 we had cut the album we got nominated and we won it also so it's a big achievement and i'm really happy right so um, your career has been more than uh, about two and a half decades now and uh, mm -hmm. how do you see this entire career your entire journey uh, what were the challenges what were your proudest moments uh, i'm sure this one includes yeah, that yeah but it was not uh, so bad it was nice and pleasant because from the age of 5 five, 5 five and a half i started to playing with this instrument not playing like playing this this was the only toy and i I thank God that at that time uh, we were not wasting our time with all this electronic gadgets. You know, <laughs> there used to be just one film, Hindi film, in uh, every Sunday. 
So nothing else to do. Hmm. You know, little bit studies and then instrument because I liked it also. Hmm. Because uh, when I was very small, uh, my guru Pandit Hari Prasad Chaurasia said he used to practice all day long at home whenever he was free. So I used to hear it, you know, while playing, while playing with my dinky cars or whatever, doing at home. So and he used to practice all day if, whenever he was there. So I was fascinated with the sound, you know, of this instrument. So when I got the chance to pick up any instrument, I chose this instrument. Hmm. And uh, I think this instrument also have a kind of a blessing because this is an instrument of Krishna. Hmm. So whoever pl- plays it, it attract, you know, the ears and the people for a bit. If somebody is playing on the road, serving flute, hmm. people stand for two seconds and watch it or listen to it. So I think this instrument has the blessings. Right. And uh, this album, so. it's still, uh, in fact, we had a record also. When mm-hmm. is what we call, and in West the people buy more of that, you know, because you get the real warm sound. It's not a digital sound. Mm-hmm. So I'm happy that I'm uh, being associated with this this kind of this higher of uh, maestros playing with them. Also get to learn a lot of things from them. You know, the, mm-hmm. they're playing. The, it's more of a bluegrass music, you know, right. and then inclined by the jazz and other. So. Right. It's a, it's a, it was a challenging also at the same time. and uh, But once you get the confidence, you start enjoying it. And then what else you can do from your end to make that piece more beautiful? We keep trying. That's the, that's the job of a musician, you know. Keep trying. But this kind of award, when one, one gets it, you know, it's a very big encouragement. So mm-hmm. I have to go now further. What should I do? Mm-hmm. Practice more or think about more or listen to more music and keep going that's a, I normally say that you know every subject or every uh, whatever you do there's an ending okay this exam is done it's <laughs> finished now curriculum is finished but in music there's never ending you keep doing and the more you get the more you polish it more better and better you become you know? yeah. and you feel good about it okay wow well, today I have played this and for us playing concerts it's like an exam giving exam every day and uh, towards the end with the applause and the appreciation you come you get the result how was the exam today so it's like daily every day you do right so you don't see it as a challenge but a chance to improve a chance to improve and then uh, your practice ability uh, allows you to take challenges on stage Hmm. so for that we have to practice a thing and be in the music all the time and because I love music I love every you know, a bit of thing which is attached to music, traveling, mm-hmm. new places, meeting new people, new cuisines. Right. So, I like it. So, all these activities, they infuse in your music somehow? Yeah, definitely. When you like to do what you want to do and you're happy. So, your happiness, your everything shows in your music. Your nature, definitely, it represents your music. Right. You also mentioned your guru, uh, mm-hmm. Sir Hari Prasad Charasya. Uh, could you tell us a little moments you spent with him? Anything uh, memorable? A lot, uh, a lot. Means traveling with him, it was a learning process every day, every second, you know, on stage, off stage, the behavior, the way he used to keep himself calm, you know, not getting angry. That also something to learn because if you're not happy on the day of a performance, it shows in your music. Mm-hmm. So he used to be very calm and this practice, practice, practice. No no wonder he was watching a film also. The flute used to be in his hand. Still, still he practiced. He's yeah. now touched with 85. <laughs> but amazing uh, thought process, power, whenever we go to learn. He has, every time he has something new to serve us, you know. And then again, oh wow, I thought I've done everything. Now what is this now? Now work on this. So it's, right. a, it's a nice uh, music. So did life. it ever occur to you that, okay, I'm carrying forward the legacy and uh, somewhere it is becoming a little heavy also? Because it's always it's a heavy on the shoulders because hmm. because of the people. People have that expectation, okay, we have heard hmm. Babaji, I call him Babaji. He has played all over the world. I hmm. think he has not left any small interior villages, city, hmm. anywhere. His music is everywhere. So that is... In, in, in one way, it's a, it's a help also that, okay, people know that what they're going to get. But at another hand, it's also 
very uh, fearing all the time, okay, would I will keep their, uh, you know, expectation hmm. up to mark. Hmm. So that in a way, if I take it positively, I have to be always on my toes, you know, because yeah. I have to keep the expectation. So what practice, practice, more practice, think about music, what hmm. you can do else. Hmm. And a lot of people say that, okay, what different you have done? Well, nothing different because where he has on peak, he has taken this instrument. We are still doing a lot of research what he have done when he, yeah. Sometimes we do something and I think that, okay, I don't, a lot of musicians that we have done something new, but suddenly on the YouTube, we see some old recording. Oh my God, this is, this was already done. Hmm. So that's a game and it's a, it's a fun, you know, how you take yeah. it. Hmm. So if you take it positively, okay, I have to do, I have to work more. And if you don't take it positively, you get depression. Oh my God. Now what else to do is already been done. So it's a thought process. Right. So, um, how has your experience been in Hyderabad? Uh, any memorable moments from the city? How do you? What comes to mind when you think of Hyderabad? Well, the first thing comes like uh, you know, biryani. <laughs> when whenever you get the date of Hyderabad, okay, wow! Well, I'm going. First thing is the cuisine. What comes in your mind? Then hmm. I used to buy a lot of. Uh, the city is always uh, very well known for its pickles. Mm -hmm. Amazing, and when I went to the shop, it's why wow. 300, 400 different kind of pickles and uh, then Kumanika and all that Mirchi ka sara amazing right. uh, so we have seen and very good audience very good audience because the Urdu Adab and all that, I used mm -hmm. to come with a lot of different groups uh, with guzzles and all and they, the way they used to appreciate and understand music, very musical city yeah, today's performance is also Uttar Dakshin, a connect yeah, of yeah, North and a, South. It's a, it's a combination of South and North. So, uh, we will be presenting classical definitely. Uh, and they have a lot of uh, people are inclined to classical also. 